Hi everybody feel warmly welcome to Usitility. Today we are going to see how to run League of Legends Wild Rift on PC. From now you are able to display it on your screen. We will be able to efficiently download and set up League of Legends Wild Rift and play this game on our Windows computer using our gamer keyboard if we want to, mouse and large monitor. Then without further ado, let's get to it. Before anything else mates, the first thing to do is to open our favorite internet browser. We have here the one we prefer. Let's continue. Going to this URL I'm highlighting in green. There you are seeing it on the screen. You don't need to type it, because I added the link in the description of this video and as well in the first main comment. Once clicking on this link, we reach the website of LD Player, which the Android emulator that we will run to enjoy the Game League of Legends Wild Rift on our PC. It is now obvious that we access several advantages of preferring this emulator. Custom controls, multiple instances, instance synchronization, macros, scripts, high FPS, etc. So we are ready to start downloading the League of Legends Wild Rift by clicking on the button Download League of Legends Wild Rift on PC that I have marked in green color. We then click on that button. Of course, the download takes no time at all. Here it is, this is the download. It's an executable file. What we have to do is to run the installer, so we click on this file. Windows 10 users will be asked for permission to make modifications to the device. We answered yes. I minimize the internet browser to start to see the installer better. The installation software is very simple. It is made up of two choices, install and setup path. I am going to show you what setup path does. We just click on it. And therefore we observe that we, they got here the path where in fact the emulator is going to be set up. If we choose to change this directory we need to click on the, browse, option. Therefore we choose another folder and set up the emulator wherever we prefer. To keep it simple, just leave it as it is. Then, I click on back. Therefore I simply click install. At this time, before beginning setting up the emulator, it's possible that it will suggest us one or more computer software offers to install on the desktop or laptop. As I do not wish to have any of those computer software, I purely press several times on the reject button. Fantastic! The setup commences and it will carry on together with the download of those megabytes which are presented on the computer screen. The time you download it, it is likely to be a bit more or less megabytes. The download rate will go faster or slower, subject to your type of access to the web and according to the efficiency of the emulator web servers. Now they're working super fast. The download is has been successful, and so straight away it proceeds with the setup step. The setup will take more or less time according to the power of your hard drive. The more efficient it is, the faster the software installation time and or vice versa. If we put together the download and software installation phase it usually takes a very long time, so show patience. It is now ended on my side. At present, the emulator happens to be started instantly. As you can discover, down here, we have a progress bar that will advance to the right so when it attains the end, the emulator is going to be launched for the first time. Indeed, the emulator was already started. Here it is for the first time. And as a result LD Store is immediately started, which is a kind of Google Play. This isn't the best way to set up the game, and I really don't advise using it, simply because generally the LD Store sets up an obsolete version of the Android game. I'm going to teach you the way to set up the Android game by using Google Play therefore I recommend you to do it this way. The initial thing we are required to begin doing is to go to the desktop by hitting this software icon that I am pointing out in green. Before we keep going, as you can see now, it created two software icons here on the computer desktop. The LD Player and LD Multiplayer. Note that the LD Player icon is definitely the one we are concerned about. The moment we are planning to launch League of Legends Wild Rift on the desktop or laptop, we twice click this particular software icon and consequently run the emulator. The LD Multiplayer app icon is not related to multiplayer or anything like this. In fact, it is an icon that we will quite likely never ever use. Shall we perform the next phase, which is a requirement, and that's to log on to the Google Play Store. To execute this we will go here to System Apps, we click. And we'll simply click on Play Store. As you can view the Google Play is started. In this case we need to sign in. So now as soon as we're here, we have to accomplish this next step that is obligatory. So we mouse click on, Sign In. 
presently it shows, checking info. It might from time to time get blocked in, checking info, and this isn't going to move forward. In this case, you could attempt to log in in after a couple of hours and it'll quite likely be fixed. At this time we will type our email and password. The email ought to be a Gmail email and its related password. For example you make use of the same exact email you use at the moment in your YouTube account. Thus I will insert my information and I'll go back immediately after I have accomplished it. Voila! Details typed. This is Google welcoming us and providing us the twos. We are going to approve them by clicking, I agree. Following that, it make us possible to back up to the Google Cloud. You can let it check it's going to create a backup of the data on that device to Google Drive. I won't check it, you do what you want. We just click on accept. By now Google Play is started by default and automatically. When the Google Play isn't started automatically and you have no idea how to launch it manually, I illustrate how to do it now. The first thing is to navigate to the emulator desktop by clicking this app icon designated in green color. Straight away we head to the system apps folder. And we select the Play Store icon. Yes, we are right inside Google Play. What we are going to do will be go here to, search for apps and games. And thus we are going to research League of Legends Wild Rift. Presently there we end up with it. We are going to go through the first result. Listed here we get the Android game. Why don't we simply click there on the, install, link that I'm displaying now in green. That click will begin the software setup. At this moment it should install the game. It will take some time or it could also be almost immediate. It all is determined on the connection to the internet. It's just finished installing. It's time to go back to the emulator desktop by pressing the following button that I'm presenting in green, so that you can launch League of Legends Wild Rift for the first time. You are by then on the emulator desktop, and we're about to simply click on that new League of Legends Wild Rift app icon that's been created. Your video game is started for the first time. Now there we have it. I could click anywhere on the screen and also make use of the keyboard. I have to discuss the sound level of the emulator. It's here. We have got the icon of higher volume and the icon of lower volume. This way we won't depend on the Microsoft Windows volume to increase or decrease the sound experience of the emulator. And also to take pleasure in the experience to the greatest, we can switch on the big screen, for which we have two options. This one is actually the very first one. We click on this particular icon which I'm identifying in green. Thus the monitor is maximized, experiencing one border at the top, one on the right side and one at the bottom. Granted that we wish to play the game in full screen, we click this particular icon. And we might without a doubt be enjoying the game app in full screen setting. To exit the 100% screen mode, press the F11 key. And additionally we would probably currently be in regular computer screen setting. At present, I am starting to explain you the keyboard mapping that is actually quite interesting. This means we will be ready to play the game a lot more effortlessly. The very first point is to mouse click this computer keyboard icon. And at this time there you will be able to complete the necessary configuration settings. I am about to put the default configuration, but if you want to improve this, you can do so with no problem. I grab this chance to say that from time to time, when commencing the video game a dark screen appears, if that is like this and you see the black display and that emulator does not initiate, I propose a doable alternative. We can browse here, to the cogwheel. In your emulator options, in the advanced selection we have a range of resolutions. That is the resolution we have presently selected automatically and so we should select any of these additional resolutions, for example that one listed below. We take it and afterwards press save. It may ask us to reboot the emulator and when restarted, most probably the emulator will get started and your black screen will vanish entirely. As you can observe, the emulator is totally in our own language. From time to time it happens that the emulator is started in the wrong language, as an example, in Chinese language. And as a consequence to place it in the appropriate language we browse here to the cogwheel. And thus there throughout other options, we simply click on the language drop down. We should choose the language we prefer. Spanish, Chinese, and so forth. As soon as the language is chosen, we could save, the emulator will restart, and also the Android game, the next time we run it, will of course be in the preferred language. So now, there's another thing that we must take into account, and it is that we will get a message from Gmail telling that a brand new device has been connected with this Google account. 
It should question us if we're the people who have associated with that electronic device. Indeed, we must not get worried. Considering the fact that emulator is behaving like an Google Android electronic device. So you can discover which tablet or smartphone is being emulated. We return here, to the cogwheel and we click on it. Let's go here to the, model, selection. And here we determine that the emulator is acting as a Samsung cellular phone. And so we're going to receive an email saying that a new Samsung device has been connected to our Google account. This is it folks. So much for my tutorial. I anticipate you liked it, specifically that you found it helpful. If so, bring it a pleasant like, subscribe to our channel, and I will be happy to answer all your remarks, issues or ideas. Leave them in the comment field down below. You could possibly also leave comments on my Twitch channel. I actually do live streams every now and then, you get it listed below in the video description and in the first pinned comment. Simply click on any of those video tutorials that happens to be appearing on the screen and see you in the next videos. Bye.